Hello everyone and thank you for stopping by. Today this is just a quick update on my garden and yet another use for bed rails. If you recall on my previous video on this garden, all these plants were put in at the same time. Some of them looked pretty good, some of these plants didn't look as good as they should have. I bought them from a local nursery. These were all planted at the same time and I'm getting blight throughout all these plants. Now, this particular plant I trimmed from the beginning and I'm still getting blight on it. This one I didn't trim as well. There wasn't that much to trim on it. This one there was almost nothing up to it and I trimmed it anyway. And besides the blight, I don't have my deer barrier up. And last night I had a doe out here and she was nibbling away on my plants. You see? I'm going to be trimming this off. Some of these are doing fairly well. Let me come around this end. Here's my ghost pepper. I have only one ghost pepper plant. Not everybody eats this, so I only plant one of them. I get plenty of peppers. I usually get plenty of peppers out of these. But you can see this light. Get it up a little closer that I'm getting on these plants. Now this was trimmed from the beginning. Maybe I didn't trim it enough. Uh, we had a lot of wet weather when I put these plants in. That may have been the cause. I don't know. And yesterday we had some downpour. Right now it's 6 o'clock in the evening and the temperature cooled off to 91 degrees. It was a scorcher today. But even still, the ground was fairly wet. I didn't water the garden this morning. Because like I said, we had a downpour last night. Right, we have it again over here. Now at first I wasn't sure if I had blight on these plants or if this was just some of the burn. See, this, this looks like blight over here. This plant was a scarecrow. Had no leaves on it at all by the time I finished trimming. I didn't even know if I was going to get tomatoes on it. I did use some fertilizer on it. And the fertilizer I used was that uh, homemade tea. If anybody has any questions on that? Post your comments down below and I'll let you know how to make that. And here are the bed rails. These bed rails I cut off one end, but I left this part on top. It's just a little extra work to cut it off. And not only that, I'm hitting it down with a sledgehammer. And I figure instead of marring up the ends, if these break off, they break off. But none of them did because these cages are kind of weak. As these plants get a little taller and they, if they bear any fruit, I'll be tying them up so they hold. Getting a lot of flowers on these plants. Picked a couple of chevy tomatoes already. And we have a few on the bottom over here that are... Just a camera can get in down there and see what I got. I'm going to be trimming this up. That's what I have. Now these eggplant, they didn't look healthy from day one. And they're not looking much better now. I try not to put any spray on them, but it looks like... Yeah, there we go. We got these camera could pick that up. I'm going to have to give it a little spray. And we got a few more tomatoes this way. And over here we have our beans. Pepper plant. Four regular bell peppers. Now these plants kind of odd the way this grew this year. Got this big pepper on this small plant. I believe the nursery had these in the container just a little too long. And over here we have the cucumbers. Now if I could keep the deer out of here, I'd be in good shape. You can see where we had this blocked off over here. So what did the deer do? They came down and they just nibbled out a little bit over here. Now, I'm going to be trimming up these plants a little bit more tonight. The rule of thumb is when you have blight on the tomatoes to pull the whole plant out. But most of them have it. I'm going to salvage what I can. You could use a knife, a pair of scissors, whatever you happen to be using, whether it be a knife or whether it be the scissors. After you, after you cut up, after you trim one plant, wipe it down with some alcohol. Because if a plant doesn't have the blight on it, you're transferring from one plant to another. Oh, let me show you this. My wife had collard greens she was growing in a pot on the deck. And you can't see it now because this is wet, but there were hoof marks over here. And this is what the deer did to this plant, right up to the house. 
they have no fear in this area no fear whatsoever so I'm gonna use a few home remedies to try to keep the deer out gotta put my uh, barrier up over here to keep them out and and short of uh, one dose of lead poisoning it's a joke guys it's a joke um, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do to keep them out if that doesn't work if you have any questions or comments post them down below any suggestions are helpful also and if you enjoyed the video be sure to give it a like pass it along and if you haven't done so already if you would hit that Joe Z button up here and subscribe to my channel and be sure to hit that bell not to miss any new videos that I upload and, and until next time everyone try to stay cool and stay well